Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang Gang Ding diddle ding 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 Sparky, I'd like to welcome you to Da 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 Esterfest Ooh, I just love Esterfest Wait a minute, what is Esterfest? It's a festival for one of our favorite people from the Bible, Queen Esther. That does sound like fun. When does the party start? Right now, with our first story, Quite a Queen. The Israelites had lost their land, or should I say, their land lost them. They lived in Persia far away. They wanted to go back again. What are we doing in Persia? Shh, they're being punished. Oops, sorry. God promised that they would return to Israel to dance and sing. For now, though, Persia was their home, and Xerxes was their Persian king. He looks nice enough. Persia's not bad once you get used to it. The king had problems of his own, like any king would have, I'm sure. His servants thought that they could help. A brand new queen, sire. That's the cure. Every king needs a queen. Happy hunting, your highness. King Xerxes liked this good advice. He sent a message out which read, I'm looking for a brand new queen. Come see me if you're interested. The king took out a personal ad. He's a sly Persian cat. Young women came from miles around. They lined up at the castle door. Each dreamed that she would be the queen. That's something well worth waiting for. Look at this line. Did you bring your resume? There in the line, young Esther stood as pretty as a starlit night. Her beauty was beyond compare, but she was just an Israelite. What's wrong with that? Persian kings like Persian queens. Must be a king thing. Let's keep that tidbit to ourselves, her cousin Mordecai advised. If they think you're an Israelite, they'll never let you go inside. She'll pretend to be Persian. I like to pretend. Young Esther kept the secret well, and so far no one else had learned. Let's all hope that it stays that way. The king has called. It's Esther's turn. Esther's next. She sure is pretty. When Xerxes sees her enter there, he falls in love immediately. He puts a crown upon her head. Oh, Esther, will you marry me? He picked Esther. Esther's best. Esther's best. What was her answer? Can you guess? Before we see our final scene, that lovely Israelite said, Yes, God's people now have quite a queen. Hail Queen Esther. What a nice couple. She's quite a queen. How do you like the story of Esther so far, Sparky? What's not to like, Buzzer? Poor girl beats the odds and becomes queen? Sounds like a winner to me. You say that like you've heard this before. Classic fairy tale ending, Buzzer. This is no fairy tale, Sparky. It's all true, right from the Bible. But before we hear more about Esther, let's sing a song about our Quite a Queen story. Old King Xerxes, he did cry, uh-huh. Old King Xerxes, he did cry, uh-huh. Old King Xerxes, he did cry, he was lonely, that is why, uh-huh. He went a courtin' for a queen, uh-huh. He went a courtin' for a queen, uh-huh. He went a courtin' for a queen, ladies lined up happily, uh-huh. Esther was a lovely sight, uh-huh. Esther was a lovely sight, uh-huh. 
Hester was a lovely sight. She's a pretty Israelite, uh huh. Old King Xerxes thinks she's swell, uh huh. Old King Xerxes thinks she's swell, uh huh. Old King Xerxes thinks she's swell. She's not a person, Shh, don't tell, uh huh. Esther, will you marry me, uh huh. Esther, will you marry me, uh huh. Esther, will you marry me? Persia will have quite a queen, uh huh. Sing along! Old King Xerxes, he did cry, uh huh. Old King Xerxes, he did cry, uh huh. Old King Xerxes, he did cry. He was lonely, that is why, uh huh. He went a courtin' for a queen, uh huh. He went a courtin' for a queen, uh huh. He went a courtin' for a queen, ladies lined up happily, uh-huh. Esther was a lovely sight, uh-huh. Esther was a lovely sight, uh-huh. Esther was a lovely sight, she's a pretty Israelite, uh-huh. Old King Xerxes thinks she's swell, uh-huh. Old King Xerxes thinks she's swell, uh-huh. Old King Xerxes thinks she's swell. She's not a Persian. Shh, don't tell. Uh huh. Esther, will you marry me? Uh huh. Esther, will you marry me? Uh huh. Esther, will you marry me? Persia will have quite a queen. Uh huh. Good job. Wow, that quite a queen song was quite a good one. There was nothing quiet about it. King Xerxes was looking for a new queen to be his wife. Can you help us look for the four queenly crowns hidden in this picture of the king's castle? There's one bed bug hiding there too. There's a crown on the ground. Keep looking, gang. You found another crown over there. Good job. Can you see any others? Yep. You see an upside-down crown right over here. Just one more crown to find. That's it. You found all the crowns. That's quite an achievement. Now help us find our bed bug friend. Ah, uh, there she is. You did a great job, gang. Sparky, I know you like the Esther Fest so far, especially the part where Esther got married. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> Get it? I do? Just like Esther said at her wedding? <laughs> well, things in our story are about to get a little messy. I don't mind a mess, Buzzer. Well, then let's see how messy things get while we watch Mordecai's Mess. As Mordecai was sitting down outside the palace gate, he overheard two wicked men filled up with lots of hate. Hey, there's Mordecai. He's Esther's cousin. But who are those two baddies? Those men were going to hurt the king, a nasty thing to do. So Mordecai told Esther she's his queen and cousin too. Good job, Mordecai. Esther will warn the king. Queen Esther told the king the news. Soon those two men were gone. The king said, I will not forget what Mordecai has done. The king is very thankful. Mordecai did the right thing. Back to the gate went Mordecai. It's where he liked to be. Just then old Haman walked on by and said, bow down to me. Who's he? He's Haman. Old Haman was the king's best friend. The king made a decree that folks should bow to Haman. Mordecai did not agree. The king said to bow to Haman. But Mordecai doesn't want to. He would not bow to Haman, but that isn't very odd, for Israelites like Mordecai would only bow to God. Oh, that's why Mordecai won't bow. He'll only worship God. It made old Haman very mad to see him not bow down. Oh, you'll be sorry, Mordecai, said Haman with a frown. That doesn't sound good. We'll be fine as long as he doesn't tell the king. 
Old Haman went straight to the king and said, Your Majesty, there's people in this kingdom who don't follow your decrees. Tattletale! Well, Mordecai did break the law. These people are the Israelites. They ought to go away. Let's make a law to punish them, the king just said. Okay. Punish all the Israelites? But that's not fair at all. Now Mordecai is in a mess. The end is coming soon. To see what's going to happen next, you'll just have to stay tuned. Stay tuned? But I need to know now. Oh, this is an awful mess. It can't end there. What happens to Mordecai and all the other Israelites? You'll just have to be patient, Sparky. But I promise that things will get better before the end of our story. Esterfest, Schmesterfest. This story really is a mess. But I thought you liked messes, Sparky. I do, Buzzer. <laughs> well, then you'll love playing this mixed-up game about Mordecai's mess. These pictures from Mordecai's mess story are really mixed up. Can you tell what's wrong with each of these pictures? We'll start with this picture of Mordecai. What is mixed up in this picture? That's right! Mordecai is wearing a plant on his head. Why would someone do that? Now, look at this picture of those two mean men. What is wrong in this picture? Hey, those mean-looking men don't look so mean in bunny slippers. Look at this picture of Mordecai's cousin, Queen Esther. Does anything in this picture look messed up to you? You've got it. Queen Esther's arm looks like a snake. That is really messed up. Now, take a look at this picture of old Haman. What is wrong in the picture? That's right. It's hard to bow down when your face is upside down, Haman. Good job. Just one more to go. What is mixed up in this picture of King Xerxes? Yeah, that's a rather silly throne for a king. Thanks for helping us unmixing our messes, gang. That game was a mess of fun, don't you think, Sparky? Nope. Oh, well, I'm sorry you didn't like it. I'm just messing with you, Buzzer. <laughs> that game was great. And now I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, Bed Bug Birthday. Is today your birthday? Is today your special day? Are you one year older than you were just yesterday? Are you gay? Here's a bed bug song for you. Happy bed bug birthday to you. Happy, happy hip hooray. Happy birthday from the bed bugs. Have a happy, happy day. But it's not my birthday. Well, if it's not your birthday, if it's not your special day, if you're not much older than you were just yesterday If you're hardly bigger, if you're no more better too If it's not your birthday, here's a different song for you But that's what the Ben Bugs did. Happy secret birthday to you. Happy, happy hip hooray. Happy birthday from the Ben Bugs. Have a happy, happy day. My birthday was yesterday. Well, if it was your birthday just a day or two ago, you still remember 
remember when the candles were aglow. If you just feel bigger, cause you ate a lot of cake. If we missed your birthday, then please pardon our mistake. Happy missed your birthday to you. Happy, happy hip hooray. Happy late one from the But it's somebody. Well, if it's someone's birthday, maybe mom or maybe dad, if you'd like to wish them all the birthday fun you had. If it's someone's birthday, whether family or friend, well, if it's their birthday, here's a song we'd like to send. Happy someone's birthday to you. Birthday, everybody. Oh, yeah! You gave us just enough time to finish up our story of Queen Esther. Oh, I can't wait to find out what happens in the story. When we last left our heroes, the king had passed a law to punish all the Israelites. If only there was someone in the palace who could fix this mess. So, without further ado, we're proud to present Esther Day! When last we saw poor Mordecai, he had a mess a mile high. He had not bowed, and that was bad. It made old Haman very mad. I never liked old Haman. I wouldn't have bowed to him either. The king had passed a sad decree to punish him most terribly, and all the Israelites as well. That's where we left them, sad to tell. I know all this already. Yeah, what happens next? You might recall, oh yes you might, that Esther was an Israelite. She had not told the king this fact, but now the time had come to act. Oh right, Esther is an Israelite too. And she's the queen! The king loved Esther quite a bit. Whatever Esther wants, she gets. So Esther knew what she must do to save her friends and cousin too. What will Esther do? She's going to have a word with her husband. She told the king, Your Majesty, you must not follow this decree, for I'm an Israelite, you see, so you would have to punish me. Oh, even Esther would have to be punished. The king would never do that. The king could not believe his ears. I'd never hurt you, Esther dear. I love the queen with all my heart. This law was silly from the start. The king has changed his mind. I don't need Haman's bad advice. I see now that it isn't nice. He isn't welcome anymore. The king kicked Haman out the door. So long, Haman. Serve your right. Then Mordecai came strolling in. The king said, I remember him. He saved me from two wicked men. I'm glad to see him once again. That's right. Mordecai once saved the king. The king's gotta love that. Now Mordecai has Haman's things. He sits in honor by the king. The king is better too, you see, for he has passed a new decree. Hey, look at Mordecai. He's the king's new best friend. The Israelites are free at last. That's the new law the king had passed. And all the folks are glad to hear. They give Queen Esther three big cheers. Esther, 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 Est. She's our queen and she's the best. And now, each year, upon that date, the Israelites all celebrate. Their troubles seem so far away. Let's all thank God for Esther Day. I'll always remember Esther's story. It seems like only yesterday. It seems like it was Esther Day. The bedbugs love to share the news that God used faithful people like Queen Esther and Mordecai to save all the Israelites. That's a great reason to party, buzzer! I thought you might think so, Sparky. And that's why we called this show Esther Fest. It's the bestest fest I've ever been to! Let's all sing a song about Esther Day. We'll help you learn it. In 
in a castle in a kingdom lived a very pretty queen. By the guest, her name was Esther. She was lovely to be seen. But the queen had quite a problem with her cousin Mordecai. He was caught now, he would not bow when old Haman passed him by. This made Haman very angry, mad at every Israelite. Passed a law to hurt them all, you ought to know it isn't right. To the king went good Queen Esther, and she said, Your Majesty, I'm one of them and I love them, so you'll have to punish me. Now the king has thought it over, he would never hurt the queen. Haman's out now, people shout now for the king and set them free. Oh Queen Esther, oh Queen Esther, all the people say hooray. For you saved them all from Haman, thank the Lord for Esther Day. Everybody sing along! In a castle, in a kingdom, lived a very pretty queen. By the guest, her name was Esther, she was lovely to be seen. But the queen had quite a problem with her cousin Mordecai. He was caught now, he would not bow when old Haman passed him by. This made Haman very angry, mad at every Israelite. Passed a law to hurt them all, you ought to know it isn't right. To the king went good Queen Esther, and she said, Your Majesty, I'm one of them, and I love them, so you'll have to punish me. Now the king has thought it over, he would never hurt the queen. Haman's out now, people shout now, for the king has set them free. Oh, oh Queen Esther, oh Queen Esther, all the people say hooray. For you saved them all from Haman, thank the Lord for Esther Day. Oh Queen Esther, oh Queen Esther, all the people say hooray. For you saved them all from Haman, thank the Lord for Esther Day. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday. Hmm, that reminds me of something, but I can't remember what. You'll think of it tomorrow. That's all the time we have for today, gang. We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon. And always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye-bye!